morning, everybody. I hope you guys are having an incredible day today. I woke up a couple hours ago and realized today is flea market day in Los Angeles. Now, I've actually been to the Rose Bowl flea market a couple of times, but I haven't been in a few years. I've not been since I've kind of been getting more into interior and home decor and this whole facet of my life and Lone Fox. So I thought it would be fun today to head over to the flea market. And I actually asked you guys over on Instagram stories if it was something that you are interested in. Here is my Instagram. If you guys are not following me, make sure to do so. It is just Lone Fox Home, but I do a ton of behind the scenes, ton of video ideas. So if you guys want to be a part of like the video creation process, definitely follow along. I always ask you guys about new video concepts. I said, heading to the Rose Bowl flea market, should I film a little shop with me? And so many yeses are already coming through you guys. And they're popping up like crazy. Sometimes I just feel like there are people that just thrift and they just, you know, flea market shop so much better than me. They're just experienced with it. They kind of know what to look for. They know pricing, they know strategy, and I don't. So I'm kind of just like blindly going into this and I hope I could find some cute stuff for my home. That is really all I'm here for. But let's head out. We're going to head over to the Rose Bowl flea market. And guys, I'm gonna introduce you to my friends. Here is Marie. You guys might not know Marie. I'm sure you probably do. Here's Ethan and Alyssa. Hi. These are our friends from Wilmington. Well, they actually were from Wilmington and then they moved to Los Angeles. So now we all live in LA together. And then this is Marco, he's on the phone. I'm at this little shop that does vintage restaurant art and it has like the menu on the back side and then this is the I guess restaurant menu art but it's actually really cute and they have a ton of different styles all right we're taking a little break you guys because it's eight million degrees here we got this little um bean and cheese what is it like a tortilla a stuffed tortilla a stuffed tortilla and some juice <laughs> some agua fresca we have a lone fox family member wait and this is her store it's so cute oh, do you make these portraits yes i do oh my God, painting beautiful. on the spot um, on the spot yeah. that's called talent i can show you some. okay i want to see let's well, see come into our castle okay oh my God. and then these are my friends so cute friend these are so beautiful actually yeah. My friend Florida does these 3D printed bases. So cute. I've never seen a guy, like a men's oh, yeah. one of touch, these. Touch daddy. It's <laughs> He's nice. heavy. Yeah. He's quality. He's quality. <laughs> Guys, she is so sweet. She said I can take something from her store and I just picked this because it's really cute. I love busts and it has these dried florals in it. How cute is this? So sweet of her. She's also gonna paint a portrait of Ethan Marco. Wow, this is incredible. You guys, this is Floor. She creates these cute little dried floral busts. And Oh, and the body candles. So cute. How cool these table legs are like these ones are a bit like of a rusty kind of finish and they have these really large table legs too and like little urn and also these heads so cool the baskets $30 but this is such a unique basket I've never seen one like this it has mesh on the sides and then it's woven on the bottom I feel like it's pretty unique um, I'm gonna walk around a bit and then I might come back and pick that up we have made it to vintage rug heaven these are so cute. I love vintage rugs. The coloring and patterns. You can just tell that they're like pre-loved. I love a good vintage rug. And these ones are so beautiful. She has a whole truckload of really pretty furniture. Oh my god, my basket. This is such a cool basket. I'm obsessed with it. And I can put all my other bags in it. It's a large shopping bag. Oh my gosh, guys, look, a vase. A brass vase. A brass vase that I didn't once know was actually a spittoon in my last video and everyone told me in the comment sections that everyone spits in this and it's vintage and it's probably full of vintage spit. It's like an antique looking bronze vase but it's actually like a really nice shape. I think this would be pretty with some flowers in it. Look at all these brass little figurines, you guys. 
I really love this one a lot. I dropped it. <laughs> I think that one's so cute. And my mom always calls me an ostrich. I don't know if this is an ostrich, but it just reminds me of one. But it's a little bit more chic than the stuffed animal ostriches I have in my room. So I might need to replace one of them with this brass figurine. Look how beautiful these Moroccan lambs are. So pretty. I just found this booth and they have a lot of cute little like vintage pieces. But then I came across this little spool here. She sold it to me for four bucks. But I think this could be cute, like styled on top of some books or in a bookshelf or I don't know, somehow used. And I feel like it also could potentially be used as a taper candle holder, so we'll just have to see. Kind of cool to document it all. I know, it's fine. Fishing? No, I think maybe to carry fish. To carry fish, got it. You know, like you lay them down to mark them. Yeah, it's so cute, but he says it's an 18th century pillow. Oh yeah, see, that's how I would use it, like a little display stand. I got this stool from their cute booth. You guys should check them out. It's Wabi Sabi Hobo. If you're wondering why I called this a pillow, it's actually a wooden headrest for a geisha. This is actually known as a Taka Makura, and this is from the 1800s, which is absolutely crazy. Whenever I would have seen a piece like this, I totally would have just envisioned it as like a little candle holder or some form of little plant stand or something, but yeah, this is actually a vintage pillow. He's showing me a special, you said Ikebana basket? Yeah, but it's such an unusual form. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, it's just... It looks, I don't even, life. where do you start with making that? That's what I don't get. I know, right? Incredible. Marie, this is a pillow. What do you mean? It's for you. Look at this stool. I need this, it's so cute. A little tip when shopping at the flea market is it's great to go really early because you know you get access to all of the finds right away. But if you do go towards the end, people are packing up their trucks as you can see here. And if you see something, most of the times you can actually get it for a lot cheaper than it actually is because they don't want to take it home with them. They have no desire to bring that piece back. And so if you offer a little bit less, a lot of times they'll actually take it. A little brass duck. I also found these really cool antique candles. They're like an old age brass, but I love the finish on them. Only $5 a piece and they're really heavy. So I can totally use these in like a future makeover. I'm just kidding you guys. They only took cash and I didn't have any cash left. So I didn't get the handles. On the way out, I came across this little store that has these, actually they have really cute stuff, but they have these little stools and I've been wanting a stool like this so badly. This is what it looks like. It's $60, a bit of a splurge, but honestly everything else I feel like I got for a pretty decent price. So I'm gonna get this. I'm excited about it. We just left the flea market and I actually got a ton of stuff. I was expecting to only get like a couple of pieces because flea markets traditionally are a bit more expensive, but I got some items at some pretty good prices. I did splurge a little bit, but I'm excited to share with you guys everything. So I'm probably gonna film it tomorrow. It's getting a little bit late here, but when you guys see me next, I will be sharing with you guys all of my thrifted goodies and how I'm gonna style them in my apartment. Hello you guys and welcome to my home. It is the haul portion of today's flea market video and it is the next day. I've got to live with my finds for a day now and I am so, so ready to style them in my apartment. The price point on a lot of the pieces there are a little bit higher because you have a ton of handmade, you have a ton of antique and vintage and also a lot of these people are middlemen trying to make money off of pieces that they are reselling. So of course the price points are a bit more than a thrift store but I was able to get some really great deals and I wanna share with you guys everything that I got. First items I got were a couple of art prints here and these are by Vintage Menu Art. They actually have a website vintagemenuart.com if you guys want to check them out. But these are actually pieces of artwork that are printed from vintage menus. So this one, for example, was from the Congress Hotel in Chicago from 1961. And this one was from the Alexander Cocktail Room from the 1930s, which is really, really cool. I thought the retro and just vintage style of the piece was really unique. And I thought these would be fun to incorporate in like a cocktail setting, a bar area, or even like a little coffee bar in a kitchen or something. So I picked these up. I don't have particular spots for them in my home. However, I think I might add this one to the bar area or I might just save them both. And if I have a bar or a coffee bar makeover in the future, I can just incorporate these pieces. I just thought they were really unique and I loved the color palette of both. And then I'm sure you guys saw that I met one of my subscribers there who had such a cute booth. She had really, really trendy kind of on-trend decor at the moment. And I loved this little bust statue that she had. And there are some dried florals in there. And I just loved the overall look of this. And she just honestly was like, please take something from my shop. And I just thought this was really cute. So I don't know where I'm gonna put this in my apartment, but I will find a perfect spot for this. A few random decor pieces I found at some of the booths. 
boots. First of all, I found this spool here and it was five bucks. I thought it was really cool. I thought this would just be a fun piece to style on top of maybe some books, use it as like a sculptural object or in like a bookshelf or something kind of stacked like this next to a vase. I don't know. It was just, I love the tone of wood. I like the aged kind of metal on the sides there and just the overall vintage quality of the piece drew me to it. And I don't know what I'm exactly going to use it for. And then I also got this little candelabra here. Now this was marked at $10. I ended up getting it for $7, a little cut in the price. And you know, I don't think that's too bad for this piece. I love the brass coloring on this. It's like a muted kind of dull brass, which I really like. And I also like how three different candlesticks fit in here at the different lengths. I feel like it's just a very kind of traditional shape when it comes to a candelabra. I then came across a little shop that had a ton of brass pieces. And I have been wanting a brass sculpture like this for a long time. And as many of you guys know, my mom always jokes around and I have this thing that's called the ostrich run. I've shared it with you guys on the channel before. All right, guys. So how you do this basically is you take your hands and you put them under your legs like this and you latch them here <laughs> and then you start from over here and you have to yeah. it's lost to try. So I got myself an ostrich. I don't know if this is an ostrich, but it was the closest thing I could find to one. And I just loved it. It's a brass little sculpture figurine. I thought it would be, again, so cool to style in a bookshelf or on top of my fireplace mantle or just somewhere throughout the apartment. And I really loved the aged quality to this. I think it adds such a nice just character to the piece. And this was $15, a bit on the pricier side. However, it is super, super heavy. It's quality metal. I, I thought it was kind of an ode to my mom's ostrich theme that she always has running for me. But a lot of those pieces are are really cutesy and kind of hard to style throughout my apartment so I love how this kind of has a more sophisticated look to it but it still has that kind of quirky character I picked up two pillowcases I think these are so cute the first one here was from a vintage rug seller that was there and this was 20 bucks don't think it's too bad at all for a pillowcase price I feel like that's pretty reasonable but I just loved the coloring and just the pattern on the front of this pillowcase it reminded me of a vintage Turkish rug but at a fraction of the price I thought all around this would look really really nice on my brown couch here if you can kind of see those color tones together I thought the brown would be nice with this kind of green and burgundy color and perfect for fall as well and another pillow that I really liked as well was kind of this more striped simplistic one but I just loved the coloring in this again I've really been into browns lately especially like taupe and chocolate brown ranging from light to dark so this was really really up my alley I loved the stripes I like how it's woven I love the bit of pink kind of introduced here to add a bit more warmth to the piece and overall I just thought this was a really unique pillowcase. I think it looks really nice and handmade and the textile itself is just interesting. Now the item that I splurged on just because I had a really great chat with the guy that owned this store. He was so knowledgeable about baskets and he actually was a basket collector himself. So he had a ton of really unique antique pieces, a lot of which were actually from China and Asia in general. And so he had this piece here. This was marked at $85. I ended up getting it for $75, but this is actually a pillow, he told me, which is crazy. So essentially a geisha would do their hair and their hair would be big you know it's not something you'd want to do every single day so they'd actually rest their neck on something like this which was essentially a pillow for a geisha which is crazy and this is from the 18th century so it's extremely old you can just tell this has gone through age, if that essentially makes sense. The piece itself has so much character, but this is something that I would totally use to, again, style in a bookshelf. I love the charm. I love the quality. There's bits of green paint kind of left on the surface, which I love as well. It had a really great story behind it. Um, I've seen pieces like this on Etsy before and online, and they're always pretty expensive, but just because this one is from the 18th century, I met the owner. It has such unique charm and character. I was just like, I have to take this. I have to pick it up. He gave me a little discount too. I got it for $75. All right, guys, my last couple of items are from the same seller. I got two pieces from the seller, but I actually got this one early on. And then I went back because the entire time I was thinking about this vase I saw and I had to go back and get it. So the first item I got was this basket here. And I just thought this basket was so interesting. I've never seen a basket with kind of a metal mesh around the outside, but still included the bamboo elements on the top and bottom. I love how the bottom's also woven. And the guy who sold me the stool actually told me that he believes this basket is a fishing basket. So it was something you would carry fish back in. And I personally just loved 
the size and shape of this. I think it's such a unique piece. And I just see this kind of in a bathroom on a countertop with some rolled up towels inside, um, or maybe styled a little bit differently. I'm not too sure, but I wanted to pick this up just to have in my stash because I feel like a piece like this is hard to come by. And this was $30, but you know what? For $30, this is a really unique basket and I'm very happy I splurged on it. And the next piece was from the same exact seller, but this vase just screamed character to me. Something about this piece was so unique. I love the red. I love the distressing. I love the black. There's stitching on the sides. Um, I have no idea what this is made of. It almost seems like it's made of like a, a large, I don't know. I actually really have no idea what this is constructed of or how old it is, but this was $20. And I just feel like I could find something like this at Target that didn't have the same character and quality, you know, for 20 bucks and I'd want it for my house. So I figured if I found it, it's vintage. Again, not sure where this is gonna go in my apartment, but I just thought it was a great styling piece. So I could use this in a future makeover or styled throughout my apartment. I'm always switching up the decor in here. And that guys was actually everything that I picked up at the flea market. I love all of my finds so much. I'm really excited about my pillows and the basket. I think those are my favorite pieces that I got in this little haul for you. Um, so let me know which piece you guys liked the most. And if you've ever been to the Roseville Flea Market, I would love to know what you guys have found as well. It is such a great space and I've seen McKenna shop there so many times. So I knew I needed to check it out and see if there was any unique decor pieces. And I feel like I found a decent amount of stuff. But if you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week here on Lone Fox. And you guys can also get more behind the scenes content and just more posts if you would like them over on my Instagram. It is Lone Fox Home. Home. I'll put it on the screen right over there for you guys and I will catch you all in my next one. Have an incredible rest of your day guys and if it's hot where you are stay out of the heat because I got sunburned you guys. It's not a great feeling but I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye everyone!